Oh my lord. Good morning. Friday morning as I begin this and you already know where we heading off to. 721 in the morning running a little late. Gonna go hit the Joe's Fitness Center. The Joe Does Stuff Fitness Center. We're going to the storage facility. Gonna try to get it in. Yesterday I was able to get a decent workout in and work around the pain but I ain't gonna lie this morning I'm a little sore and not even sore from the workout sore in my hands sore in the tendonitis spots just a little bit like every so often I'll feel the pain I'm not feeling it right this second so hopefully that's okay anyways today I'm gonna try to do the same thing work around the pain I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to do that before I got to get right back into it I mean I got to get these pull-ups going and I, I truly feel like it's ever since the pull-ups that's been giving me the most that's when the problems began so we'll see what we can do and we're definitely gonna do something a lot of shit on the radar for today and not sure what we're gonna get to I know for a fact we're gonna be working on that bathroom uh, that has to happen so we'll We'll start with that at the very least. I don't want to be mentioning a whole bunch of shit and then we don't never get to anything. The bathroom is very important, so that's what we're certainly going to start with. Also want to mention, I feel so fucking embarrassed. There goes the dude right there, ironically enough. <laughs> the gas guy that I talked to yesterday. That was literally what I was getting ready to talk about. The gas guy that I went and confronted yesterday and said, Hey, your gas guys might have hit my truck i think they hit my truck now i didn't see it but it's the only thing that makes sense because i know i didn't jackknife my trailer into my truck which i absolutely did uh, to reiterate as soon as i realized after the fact of confronting the gas guy which i did so in a very not asshole type of a way as soon as I went and got the confirmation that it was the trailer that I did in fact jackknife into my truck Destroying the side of my truck. I immediately hauled ass right back to that guy who was on the phone About that situation and said hey, I'm a fucking idiot. I Did it your guys did not do it And he was pretty understanding about the situation just as awkward even with as awkward as it was all the way around so what are you gonna do I'm gonna have to find a body shop and get my truck fixed because there ain't no way I'm gonna be having my truck looking like this and with the fact that I'm gonna get this body work done to my truck I might I might go as far as getting my truck wrapped I'm really thinking about that really thinking about that anyways uh, the point of sharing me destroying my truck again is that I'm just, I'm pretty embarrassed that I did that. Joe, how did you not know that you did that? Well, I was moving so fast trying to drop that trailer off, and I jackknifed it pretty decent. Didn't hear it because I had the radio blasting. Didn't feel it because the fucking tin metal on the side of this truck is just so thin. Shit, I feel like a damn Coca-Cola can got more more durability than the side of this damn truck. They don't make them like they used to. That's for damn sure. Anyways, I'm here. I'm as ready as I'm going to be. Let's go ahead and get up into this workout. <sighs> we in it, y'all. We in it. So, four sets in, one set left, and what am I doing? I'm doing... some incline push-ups off of the squat rack I'm not using the easy curl bar I just brought that out. I thought I was gonna use it and then I'm doing some back flies or something and I'm doing zero weight body weight squats so <sighs> get y'all to work out with me on this final set uh, working around the pain seems to be Somewhat okay. Ah. Oh God, I need a new Joby. This one's pretty much dead. All right, final set. Push-ups, back flies, body squats. Ah. 
30. <sighs> yes. Nice. Forgive the grunting. Probably sounds like a nefarious film. That's really close to where my back's been tweaked at, but it seems to be okay. Seems to be okay. All right, did that, put all this away, and then let's get ready to go do this run. Damn, it's super bright. Yeah, let's turn it up to the side a little bit. All right, I got a light back here now, so it probably looks a lot better and not so grainy, right? Uh, 8.26 in the morning, just got done with my jog. I've been running a mile and a half for the last three days, I think. Now, granted, I'm not running a mile and a half straight. I can't even run a mile straight. Um, you know, breaking it down, run for about a third of a mile, walk for about uh, 0.5 of a mile, you know, and then run again. Anyway, so that's how I've been doing it, and now I'm doing a mile and a half, and I did some legs today, so that was pretty decent. Didn't run nowhere near as fast as I have been running. I was running a mile at 10 minutes, 36 seconds. Today, I was, I was at like 11 minutes, six seconds, but whatever. Running this extra half a mile is helping me burn some extra calories and all that good jazz. Anyways, not gonna spend a lot of time with trivial conversation right this second. However, there is one trivial thing that I want to mention and I don't think it's all that trivial to be honest hey here's an interesting thing you guys probably don't know but I live right around the corner right around the corner from you know the jail of my city and last night they had a guy escape from the jail and not just any guy a guy that was considered to be dangerous and I think he's still on the run right now I'm trying to find this story Trying to find this story. 10 hours ago, breaking news. Police are now looking for an inmate they say escaped from the Portsmouth City Jail Thursday evening. Police seeking dangerous inmate who escaped from Portsmouth City Jail. Now, I don't know how this dude got out. Uh, he was locked up. He's been locked up for, I think, about a year now. This story doesn't say that he had been locked up. I think he'd been locked up since 2021. 36 year old Devon Kyrie, something like that, Jones, escaped from Portsmouth City Jail in the evening hours Thursday. Sheriff's deputies, along with Portsmouth police, said they are searching for Jones until he is found and taken into custody. And they said that he was dangerous. Jones had been arrested on charges of malicious wounding, abduction, and strangulation. An internal review of his escape is ongoing and updates will be provided as they become available. So a guy with these type of charges, he shouldn't be anywhere where he would be able to escape. Certainly not on like trustee, and that's probably what he was on. He probably was a fucking trustee in the jail taking out the trash and he was gone. You know, where I live, I got a back alley that is like prime location. If you escape from the jail in this area, that's where you probably, you know, would try to get to if you even know about it or just my neighborhood in general. I live in a historic neighborhood where there's a lot of dark alleys and uh, crevices where a person could hide, but just crazy to think that, you know, this guy escaped. So I see this last night before I'm going to bed. This is great to go to sleep to, right? I get up, I go turn all the lights on outside because my backyard's a perfect hiding spot. Is my shed, my old filming shed. I, think, I was thinking to myself, what would I do if I saw this dude? Hey, you, didn't you just escape from jail? The police are looking for you. Confront them? What if you were a person who had a gun and you were, you know, a licensed gun owner? A registered gun owner? You know, if this guy was in your back, could you kill him? You probably could, right? I don't think Virginia's got a stand your ground uh, law, but just crazy to make you think. And, and by the way, real quick, dude's still on the run right now, so wild shit. Anyways. Let me get in the shower and let's get this day rocking and rolling. Alright, bear with me. I'm a little, a little lightheaded. 
Sometimes that fast and be whooping my ass. All right, so here's where we are right now. We're getting ready to work on this drain line for uh, the tub. Got a couple of drops of water down there on our hot water side. I'm not sure what the hell's going on there, but we're going to dismantle all that anyways. We'll reseal everything up, make sure it's good to go. And plus, it's sitting on there all sorts of crooked and shit, so it's probably not doing good on the plumbing. When this gets back in, it will be right the way that it needs to be. But our big issue is the drain line for the tub and this flimsical, whimsical drain that they include with the tub. Now, it almost is like you have to use that because you can't use your your tourney do, your freaking your your drain wrench on this because this thing's already freaking installed and sealed on here so if you had a hard line drain it, there ain't no way you're going to do that so you have it looks like we're going to have to use this which i was going to use this anyways but it's just crazy that you looks like you have to use it so a couple of concerns that we got is whether or not this is going to be a tight fit i've never messed with anything like this so damon get down here and show this so here's how we're attaching all of this two inch drain line here's our p-trap right here we have to do it this way to get underneath this hot water line so that we're not putting pressure on that line that works out well right there we're going two inch to inch and a half right here with our adapter and then we're going inch and a half to inch and a quarter right here with the screw on piece we've got this wedge down in here and this pretty tight I've never messed with one of these. I don't know if this is necessarily the way that this goes, but we're going to test it and see how, how bad it leaks because there's no doubt that it's, it's going to leak. We can hook up everything except for, except for this guy. So we're going to primer and cement all the pieces the way that they are right here minus this guy because we need this guy disconnected so that we can literally turn this guy underneath of this tub we're going to hook it all up everything's going to be sealed except for this one piece right here then we're going to run some water through the tub and see if we got any leaks if we don't got any leaks we're going to seal it all up well we're going to run a lot of water to make sure we're going to run a, a lot of water make sure we don't got no leaks feel very confident with that and if we're good then we're going to start putting the subfloor together we're going to take this apart uh, that way we can get the subfloor down we're going to sheetrock these walls. We're going to tear out this. Uh, we're going to mud, which we got to go to storage unit and pick up some mud. And we're going to Dura Rock. We're not going to get the tile in today. But if everything goes smooth, which the chances of that happening are probably slim to fucking none. If it does go smooth, we'll get all of those things done in a short amount of time. So let's get ready to hook this up. And we'll share with you guys when we're doing a water test. And see how much leaking, if any, we got. For real. Oh, I just put the thing over it? Yeah. I mean, I just thought that's what your plans were. Uh, all right. We're hooked up down here. I'm jammed up behind the tub. And Damon is getting ready to pour some water. Good. Yep, go ahead and pour. Like that. I don't see any dripping. Okay. I don't see any draining neither though. Oh, there it goes. Alright, keep pouring it. Yeah, I see water in our line now. I right, stop. Right, I don't see anything dripping there. She's draining good. Right. Yep, All right, turn it up. Right, again, I don't see any leaking. Nothing wet. Oh, wait. 
I got a couple drops down. Is that, or is that glue? Nah, it might be glue. Oh, it might be sealer. Uh, and also that piece is not connected neither, so it could be leaking from there if, if there is a leak. Hmm. All right, I feel pretty confident that we got a decent little connection there. So we're gonna go ahead and secure this completely. Uh, and then we will move on to putting subfloor in, taking apart this guy here and all that good stuff. So let's get it and get with you in a minute. Woo, all right, we're getting it cleaned up. You already see what we got going on. Uh, sounds good so we dismantled the water lines right there uh, dismantled that we've taken that guy out of there so that's gone your shower is gonna be right here we're gonna be drywalling this today we're gonna be putting exposed shelves up in here cuz you know we do that old HGTV type of shit cleaned out down in here and I really really want to put an access panel uh, somewhere down here you know what i mean like something down here maybe from there down just this whole area i just <clears throat> i really would like an access so we may we may explore that i, I just don't know i don't know all right let's get ready to insulate these pipes re-insulate down in here and get ready to put this subfloor back on and then tackle the walls. 12 o'clock, figured we'd be done by now and oh, we aren't nowhere near there. So cutting out for plumbing and water lines right there. And everything is going pretty okay. Not too terribly bad. And then we get this piece cut and this was a not too bad of a piece to cut. Got our water lines cut out right down there. We were getting ready to cut out our plumbing and we realized we fucked up. You got a three quarter subfloor and then on top of that they got half inch. And that's just not going to work right there. Unfortunately for us we just wasted 50 fucking dollars on that piece of wood. So at least we got a, a bit of it that we were able to use. Um, so now we got to go hunt down some half inch wood we also insulated the lines down there uh in insulated everything down there no nothing secure yet this is all just getting dry fit so yeah we're gonna pop it up so you can so you can see what we got going on in, in just a little bit let's go get this piece of wood and we will carry on hey good morning saturday as i start again and i'm sure where i left off filming last it probably just left off yesterday afternoon got kind of hectic on me real quick we had to take Louie back to the vet yesterday. We had a three o'clock vet appointment for him. I had to get Damon back and be, able to get, and be able to get to the vet. So we probably wrapped up working on the bathroom yesterday around 2.15. And by that point, we've secured the subfloor, which is all sorts of out of whack, which I'm sure was out of whack to start with. Uh, and mind you, they had that big fiberglass tub insert in there where they probably didn't even need the subfloor. But long story short, that shit goes from, you know, three quarter subfloor to half inch. And at first I was thinking they had, you know, the first layer, the initial layer of subfloor was three quarters. And then the second layer was half inch. That's not the case at all. It's three quarter and it should be three quarter, it should be two layers of three quarter is what they had going on in there. And that starts in the back corner where it's two layers of three quarter. But then by the time you get to the middle of the bathroom, it's about three quarter and then half inch. So it's all sorts of out of whack. And before I even put the Dura Rock down, I probably ought to put some floor patch down to try to try to at least smooth it out because there's some serious out of whackness going on with that flooring. So floor patch might be what I ought to do. We also got the drywall cut 
for the walls and we got it positioned we didn't even, but we ran out of time we couldn't even put screws in it today if i do get a chance to work on the bathroom which i should try to i should try at the very least to hang that drywall and get a and get a coat of mud on it but you already know first thing this morning 7 58 in the morning on the weekends i like to get that little bit of a later start <clears throat> I'm getting ready to get the workout in. Bends of the arms, still hurting. I don't know if that's ever gonna go away. I was thinking about that this morning. Like, I remember when I got these arm bands, you know, I'm just working through the pain. But I think it was working through the pain that caused the pain to get even worse. And I ain't trying to be messing myself up too bad. But we're getting ready to get this workout in. So here we are. Got no idea what I'm gonna do today, but looking forward to it. Have I told you how much I really enjoy working out? Like this is one of the few things that I really, really enjoy doing. And you gotta enjoy it. You gotta take it serious and you gotta enjoy it if you're gonna take it serious, that is. All right, let's get this money. Seventeen's my number, but I just did eighteen right there. That's set number three done. So those leg kicks, I ain't feeling them so much in my stomach as I am in my lower back. And with the pain that I've been having in my lower back and doing research on it, learning that you got a lot of muscles in your lower back, you need to work out your lower back as well. And in fact, I would beg to argue that you get a lot of your strength from your back. Maybe not all of it, but have some back pains if you want to. That's gonna definitely make you feel a lot weaker. All right, so I got two more sets to go. I'll share with you this one last exercise that I'm doing as I start set number four. And then I'll get with you after I get done. All right, set four. Let's get it, dude. So I like these, these feel good in the back too. Joe, what the hell are those? I don't know, but I like them. I feel like it's a whole body workout to be honest. Almost like a deadlift. Yeah. All right. That starts set number four. I'll get through this and get with y'all in a little while. Hey there. Saturday afternoon, it's 4.17 in the afternoon, just getting back from the beach. Uh, the wife and I have been doing the beach every weekend, and in a world where inflation is out of control, it's nice to be able to go to a place that's relatively free minus parking. Uh, we, we enjoy the beach quite a bit, so we've been doing that for the last couple of week, couple of weekends, and considering the fact we really Ain't doing too much in terms of vacating. We did take that road trip a month or so ago. Eh, a couple of weeks ago. 
Uh, the beach is the closest we get to a, a vacation. But anyways, that was a really enjoyable time. And was able to clear my mind a little bit, think about some things. Got some video ideas while out there, some business ideas. Hear me out on this. What if you went to somebody, like there was a landscape guy I saw this morning on a Saturday, getting ready to cut some grass on my street. I mean, just a small time guy like myself, at least that's how he appears to be. Probably shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but I thought to myself, I wonder how many properties he manages, how many properties he maintains, and would you sell your business? Would he sell his business? I wonder, uh, I thought about going up to him and just being like, hey man, what's your business worth to you? A million dollars, yes, of course, that's what I figured you were gonna say. But realistically, what's your business worth to you? I don't know, just, I'm always thinking about different shit and that was something I was thinking of. Anyways, like I said, it's uh, four something in the afternoon. For the last couple of days, I have not been able to fly the drone. And one of the big reasons is because I wanna fly in manual mode. And I'm so scared to fly it in manual mode over by where I'm at, where I live at, especially right by the water. And especially with the fact that it's just a little small strip of land. And you know, there's people out there all the time. So I need to go try to find somewhere at least a little more open. And there's a spot right around the corner from me that I wanna go check out. Now this is a spot that's, it's a huge warehouse area. And I talked about this on a live stream not too long ago. You know, if you got money, you can make money. They want, I think like 1.5 million for this location. And I think it would make a fucking awesome storage unit. I, I really do. I'm gonna go over there and we'll probably get a chance to fly around it a little bit. But more important, I wanna to try to fly in manual mode. That's what I wanna do. It's in manual mode where you can do like the flips and spins and shit. And there's a, a special setting on this particular drone that you have to disable to do the flips and spins and shit. But it's been so long since I've flown a drone for real, for real, that goes, you know, that you're completely in control of manual mode, meaning This is that warehouse I was talking about right here. Look at this. And here's the land that I was talking about right beside it. Hope you guys can see that. They're main, you know, they've maintained the the landscape at this place. We're right next to the news station also. Yeah, I wonder if I could fly over here if I would get in any trouble for doing so. I'm sure I would be trespassing. I'm right next to the magistrate's office. I mean it's crazy, like we're in the city. And look at this sign right here. It says like horses, right here. Where where the where the where the hell are the horses at? Anyway, this is a property that I was really thinking of if, if I could ever afford something like this. I would get this and turn this straight up into. Well, there's a field right there. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay, I got some fields over here. I think I'm gonna go park right over here. Now, I know that this is Marine Terminal property over here, and I hope I ain't gonna be disturbing nobody right here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go fly in this, in this field over here. Ah, I shouldn't be bothering nobody. Man, I was all over the place. Anyways, it's been a long time since I've flown in manual mode, anything in manual mode. Uh, and there's a setting that you have to turn off on this particular tr drone to be able to do the flips and the spins and shit. I'm not turning that setting off just yet. I wanna just see first, can I fly in this area? Can we check out the warehouse over there? Like, is it possible to check check out that spot over, over there? And then also, not don't crash. Don't crash, Joe. That's one of the most important things. Try not to crash. Holy shit, there's a horse right there. Where the hell did he come from? Son of a gun, that's a horse. Horse for what? What they got horses out here for? Do not feed horses. Holy moly. All right, getting ready to try to fly this drone and more important, Try not to crash. Hey, we got some we got some horses over here. Wish me luck.
I did it y'all. I flew in manual mode and I was a little all over the place. A lot of drifting, a lot of shakiness on the controls, but I didn't crash. So that's a plus. The, the thing has a fail safe button. You can just hit pause and it'll literally just stop flying. So that was kind of cool. I did that a bunch of times, but I tried to fly over here. I tried to fly over here and that really just, that just wasn't working. So I, I got around this building and it wasn't until I got to this side of the building over here where I lost signal. Now I know that that's Marine Terminal property right there. I didn't think that this was, but it seems like, well, maybe it is. Man, that would make some great storage. A great storage facility, wouldn't it? There's another little spot right here, but this is right next to uh, a lot of traffic that I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to risk it around. So, I didn't do too bad. I didn't really get too far outside of the field that I was flying in. And then I thought I almost lost the drone, so that was kind of scary as well, but I didn't. I got a chance to experiment with with manual mode. I'm going to need a lot more practice with that. At least I got my first flight. So, that was fun. That was fun. Got me a little location, so I'll definitely be flying over there more. Oh, shit, I forgot to say. Hey, did y'all see the birds? The birds were trying to attack the drone. So not only was I flying in manual mode, I was under siege the entire time. Them damn birds were trying to kill me out there. They must have thought I was a hawk. I thought they were a hawk. But I could hear them calling like they were crows. Don't crows call? Call! Yeah, I think that's the sound they were making. All right, that's all the excitement.